It's been an honor to work with such visionary and dedicated directors of the South England Conference. We have gelled together as a team and there is a sweet, sweet spirit in our office. I'm also grateful to God for the very talents and the skills of our executive committee members. They are professionals from different disciplines in life. They bring to the table valuable contributions that help shape the strategy and the direction of the South England Conference. These committee members give sacrificially of their time and so I want to thank them and their families for allowing these leaders to serve the church as trustees. Our pastors, Bible workers, teachers and support staff, thanks be to God for each one of you for your dedication. What would the church do without your commitment? I praise God for each one of you. I cannot overlook the faithfulness of our members. You give of your time and resources to the cause of God. You were not paid a salary for your services. May God bless and reward you both in this life and the life to come. Allow me to take a few moments to take a retrospective look over 2016 and the highlights of some of the activities of the year. The communication and media department are to be commended for the professional way news and information are disseminated throughout the conference. The social media and the 60 Seconds Weekly News are excellent initiatives that the department have introduced. Our young people have been well served through the various activities, including the Prayer and the Faith Conference, the Teens Day of Fellowships, the Youth Days, Student Camp, Pathfinder Camporee. In fact, this year, five of our Pathfinder teams qualified in the Pathfinder Bible Experience. And after competing in the North American Division Finals, all five teams from the South England Conference achieved a first place status, demonstrating their excellent Bible knowledge. Despite the austere times in which we live, the tithe has increased by 4.2%. I want to thank our members for their generosity and faithfulness. Our gift aid has also increased and we've been able to make some purchases. We've purchased the Serenity Church, the Isle of Wight Church, the Redding Garner Church, the Chiswick New Build, the Micklefield Church, which is due to complete tomorrow. There's been a number of major church refurbishments which have been completed. The North Wembley Church, the Southeast Ghana Church, the Southall Church, the West Croydon, and the Chapel Porth. These were achieved because of the faithfulness of our members. The Health Ministries Department put on several health expos throughout our conference. Under the leadership of Dr. Chilin Guaba, the Life Colors program was introduced. This program offers a simple and effective way to help a person to wellness or prevent the disease from striking at all. Under the banner of evangelism, everyone, everywhere. The Health Ministries Department played a major part in our SEC 3ABN evangelistic campaign during the month of September. Throughout the SEC, several campaigns were running simultaneously in different venues. 
The Lord blessed our efforts with 87 souls baptized. Although we rejoice for these precious souls, our harvest should have been greater. If we had done more work in preparation, I believe we would have baptized many more. And so in 2017, we will be focusing on preparation. We will not be holding any major forms of outreach program. We will share the details of our evangelism strategy at our Evangelism Expo on the 8th of January at Newbold College. Finally, friends, as we enter into this festive season, it's a time for us to gather with our families and loved ones. We will be eating together, drinking and relaxing. Please take a moment to share a meal with someone who is less fortunate. In fact, I want to encourage you to spare a few hours if you're able to during this holiday and come over to the Advent Shelter. Many who are homeless will come to the Advent Center over the next week. They will sleep, they will eat, drink, they will receive clothing, a haircut, and many of those things that we very often take for granted. It's an opportunity for each one of us to reach out and minister to those who are less fortunate. God has been very good to us in 2016. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year.